Patrymau iaith, diwrnod saith, corwen a llangollen, sylfaen. Day 7 Language Patterns Your day in corwen a llangollen uses units 18 and 19 of the sylfaen course. Here's a quick review of the main grammar points and patterns from these units. Rhyf un Govin questionai. Mai. Uti. Si. Asking questions. Mai. Uti. Si. These are the question words with which you will now be familiar. Poi, be, prid, sit, lle, pam, vint. Sit, lle and pryd are usually followed by my. Sit mae'r tywydd. Lle mae'r car. Pryd mae'r cyfarfod. Be, beth, faint and pwy are usually followed by ydi. Be ydi dy en o di. Faint ydi'r bil. Pwy ydi'r tiwtor. Remember, all of the words that follow ydi above are definite or specific nouns. Your name, the bill, the tutor. These questions are about identification. What is it? Who is it? How much is it? Ydi works like an equal sign. Poi equals a tutor. Poi ydi'r tutor. John equals a tutor. John ydi'r tutor. Faint equals a bill. Faint ydi'r bill. Pim pint equals o. Pim pint ydi o. Now look at the following. Poi sy'n diwtor. Who is a tutor? Indefinite, non-specific. If you are using an indefinite noun, use si instead of ydi. Poi sy'n tali. Who is paying? Bes in digwydd. What's happening? Poison sy'n boeth. Who's hot? Faint sy'n y dosbarth. How many are in the class? These questions are about information, not identification. Who is doing or feeling something? When? How? Also, they are not followed by a definite or specific noun or person. For these, we use si. C questions could be written, who is it that is paying? What is it that is happening? Who is it that is hot? Past tense questions are easier. Use oith. Sit oi the toith. How was the weather? Vint o the bill. How much was the bill? Poi o the tutor. Who was the teacher? Poi o than happis. Who was happy? Future tense is also easy. Use vith. Sit vith the toith. How will the weather be? Vint vith the bill. How much will the bill be? Rhyf dai. Pa mor bell. 
This is a question that is trying to measure with an adjective. How big? How far? How red? An equivalent translation of pa mor bell might be how much far? Pa mor bell ydy castell carnarfon o gastell conwy. How far is Carnarvon Castle from Conway Castle? Rhif tri, gwrchmynion, commands. In Mynediad, you learned about commands. In Welsh, when giving someone a command or instruction, a special ending is needed. To make a verb into a command, you need the ending uch for chi, or a for t. Eistedd. Eisteddwch. Eistedda. This works for most words. However, if the verb you're turning into a command ends with a vowel, you drop the final vowel of the word before adding the ending. Cotty. Cotwch. Cotta. Ymlacio. Ymlacioch. Ymlacia. And the final one is verbs ending with ed or egg. The ending ed or egg is dropped. Use this little phrase to help you remember it. Eds will roll and eggs will smash. Cerdded. Cerdwch. Cerda. Rheteg. Rheteg. Rheta. These verb stems will come up in future courses in short form patterns. Rhif pedwar, gorchmynion avreolaidd, irregular commands. As ever, the most commonly used commands are irregular. Mint, ewch, dos, dod, dewch. Tird, gwneud, gwnewch, gwna. Rhif pimp, paid, don't. If the command is not to do something, then you use peidiocha for chi or paida for ti, followed by a verb with an aspirate mutation. Peidiocha mint. Paid a mint. Paid you a thali. Paid a thali. Paid you a chotty. Paid a chotty. Paid you a foiny. Paid a foiny. A becomes ag before a vowel. Paid you a garros. Paid a garros. Paid you a govni. Pai da govni. Rhif chwech. Ffyrf crynno y gorffennol. Short form past tense. The same stems of verbs are used in short form patterns. Drop the final vowel. Eds and eggs will roll. And then the following ending is added for the different people in the past tense. V. S. Mi ddarllenesi. T. Est. Mi ddarllenes ti. Fo. Odd. Mi ddarllenodd o. Hi. Odd. Mi ddarllenodd hi. Ni. On, mi ddarllenon ni. Chi, och, mi ddarllenoch chi. Nhw, on, mi ddarllenon hw.